Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and all you fairy tale beings. Welcome to the first official video of Mwa Kenya by Mwa Kenya. Remember, in my previous video, I told you guys this platform is for the youth and by the youth, where the youth just come together, put their minds together, try to understand what's affecting the youth, try to make sense of it, and trying to find solutions to it. I am your host, Sarah Sylvia. Thank you so much for being here with me if you're watching this video. Remember to like, share this video with as many people as you can, subscribe to this platform. You can turn on that notification bell as well so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. So imagine having reliable access to safe, sufficient, affordable, and nutritious food. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the definition of food security. The reason why I've brought this topic up today is because in the country Kenya right now, knowing the economic state, if you do not know, the country Kenya is struggling economically. The citizens are crying out and it is so bad, so much so that majority of the families in the country at the moment can only afford to have one meal a day. That's very unfortunate because some of these families have children and it is so bad that these children can no longer be fed full meals back at school. Back in the day, we had feeding programs in schools where students could um, get meals at school. It would depend on the meal. Sometimes they'd get to school and have breakfast and uh, lunch and then have dinner back at home. And a lot of families depended on this food program because the kids could actually get nutritious, safe, sufficient food at school as the parents work on getting the food back at home. But right now it's so bad that even at school, we cannot feed our children like we used to. And it is very unfortunate because when you think about food, it's a basic need. It's not something that you want to be stressing about. You just know that I will find something to eat at the end of the day. My family will be fed at the end of the day. But alas, that's not the case at the moment. That's why I felt the need to bring up this conversation so that we can just try to find solutions to it as the youth. Because now this is our problem. You remember a, a, a few years back, 15, 20 years back, we were told that we are the future. Well, newsflash, the future is here. So we have to do something about this because this is our problem. It comes down to our families back at home. We cannot sit back and wait for the government to do something about it. That's why I've brought this conversation up. I'd like the youth to come together on this platform just to share solutions on how we can solve the situation on food insecurity in the country at the moment. Perhaps we can start with where we went wrong. Honestly thinking, about um, where we went wrong. Personally, in my personal opinion, um, I'd like to think that the reason we are having issues with food um, insecurity at the moment is because an, a huge number of the youth rushed for white collar jobs after graduating um, university. So we rushed to the cities to come and find white collar jobs and forgot um, agriculture as a whole. As a sector and if you know you know that agriculture is the backbone of a country the country cannot function if its people are not properly fed so a huge number of the youth currently a huge number of this generation we ran for white collar jobs in the city and i'm not saying that it's not good to have a white collar jobs i'm all for it but now that we're having issues with food insecurity i think it's time we take a leap back a bit and just sort that issue first by having the youth get in on agriculture. So if we have the youth going back to the farms to practice some agriculture, I think that would be a huge step towards solving the issue of food insecurity in the country. A lot of people do not want to associate themselves with the whole idea of being farmers because growing up to Likwotunambi were farmers ni watu wa shamba you know, and you wouldn't want to be found in that bracket where you're called Mtu Mshamba because you're in the village practicing farming. But in actual sense, it's actually very important that the youth practice farming because those people that we used to depend on to provide food for us, our parents, they're now aging and they can no longer handle these difficult and tedious tasks in the farm. And now it calls upon us because we are the future. This is the future that we had been talking about. It's here. So we have to do something about it. So I think if the youth just took some time and went back 
to try and practice some agriculture. You don't even need to start with a huge piece of land. You can start with that small backyard shamba, you know? Just start by feeding your family. Start by feeding your people. Remember, charity begins at home. Feed yourself, your family, your kids. Before you know it, you'll be able to feed your neighbors. Before you know it, you're feeding an entire village. And alas, you're feeding an entire county. I mean, how wild is that? And this is also an opportunity to kind of have yourself self-employed. You don't necessarily need to depend on a salary because now you're selling um, food crops. And that is what the country needs most at the moment. We have focused so much of our energy on uh, producing cash crops than food crops. That's why we're having a, a problem feeding our nation. That's why we're having a problem feeding ourselves because we most of the food that is being produced is being sold out. It's being exported to other countries and we are getting paid peanuts for it, which is very unfortunate. So how about we start focusing on ourselves before we start looking at those in the outside? Because honestly speaking, they are watching out for themselves. So how about we do, we do the same? It doesn't break a bone. We have so many youth farmers. Well, I wouldn't say as many as I would like us. I would like to admit there are, but there's there's quite a number of youth farmers who've um, ventured into farming. A good example is uh, the street, the king of street sanitization, the Pluto. I was very surprised to find out that he's um, a farmer and I've seen videos of him working in his farm and it's doing really, really well. And I think that's very motivating. I, I think you guys should go and check out what he's doing um, when it comes to this agriculture sector. Akuna ile ushamba. And I like that you know Shonia ushamba inenda ikitutoka pole pole by the day. Because that's the only way we can be able to save or rather feed ourselves, our kids, our parents. We need to work on this. We need to actually get on, on this because no one else is going to have our backs. We cannot sit back and wait for the government to do something about this. <laughs> we just can't. The government at the moment is handling a lot of tasks. There's so much going on in the country that I can promise you what you put in your stomach is the last of their concerns, unfortunately. Sadly. So if we can just have the youth go back into agriculture, if we can just have the youth go back and try to um, produce food crops, to feed the nation, I think that would be a huge, huge step towards handling this issue on food insecurity, honestly speaking. What, how, or rather, how does food insecurity affect the youth? Well, number one, which is very obvious, you become very unproductive. And when you're unproductive, you're unable to do a lot of things. Your body cannot handle doing difficult tasks some of which are required for you to put food on your table. So at the end of the day, you'll end up missing out on job opportunities, which leads to unemployment. You see, being unproductive makes you feel or rather fall into depression. So it's a whole chain. It just gets worse. You just get deeper into the rabbit hole. If you don't do something about um, feeding your mind and your body and your soul. And you know how they say um, a hungry man is an angry man? It's an actual thing. It increases crime rates. When people are not properly uh, fed or rather don't have the proper nutrition that they need, people will go into crime just to try and, f or, and um, feed their needs or rather reach their needs. So people will go and start breaking into homes and it will be ridiculous crimes, by the way. Like, there's a time we had a woman whose house was broken into, and these thugs asked her to prepare a home-cooked meal for them. That's a very good example of what food insecurity is doing to the youth. So if we can just handle ourselves and come up with solutions on how to handle food insecurity, we won't be having cases of people breaking into homes, asking for home-cooked meals. And that was actually... Um, Thankfully, no one was hurt in this situation. They just had their meals and left. Others would even resort to violence, which would be very, very sad and very unfortunate. We cannot have, a, 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 um, we cannot live in a country where we do not feel safe in, you know? So if we do not handle the issue of food insecurity, again, we will just be hurting ourselves because of the increasing crime rates. 
So those are my two most scariest points on how um, food insecurity affects the youth. Another solution I think we can try out is if we can have people who've had access to the youth fund, just come on here and tell us how you managed to get that finance because I believe there's a youth fund sent, set aside by the government for the youth to help kickstart whatever business it is that they'd like to run. So I believe there's people who've had access to this money and if we can just have them come on here and tell us how it is they went about the process, give us some guidelines on how to get the money, I believe it would really, really help towards helping um, or rather ending this issue of food insecurity because we'd have people buying pieces of land to purely begin farming, yeah? So if we have um, someone who knows um, how to get access to the youth fund that would be of a uh, huge help if you could just share with us come on here share with us how you managed to get that money or if you know someone who does share this video with them so that they can come on here and just help us understand what the process is what is required to get this money so that we can venture into our own um, businesses to try and curb this issue of food insecurity another point that i think would be a solution is We've seen um, a lot of organizations, a lot of pr uh, private and public organizations coming up to help youth individuals who are struggling with something or that they have a talent that they'd like to venture in and then there's companies that are coming to um, sponsor them. So if we can have these organizations that are willing to help the youth, to pull up the youth, just um, maybe you can buy an entire piece of land or rather if they have a piece of land that they are willing to rent out they can be renting out um, portions of this piece of land to the youth for farming activities so the youth can be planting their crops on this land selling it to um, the people to feed the nation and then now uh, the profits that they make you have um, a reasonable amount that you're paying as rent to this organization and uh, the organization can be helping you out with um, getting um, the pesticides, the herbicides and all that that's required for the farm. So if we can get these organizations that are willing to pull up the youth, that would be great because right now we, um, we need to work together towards solving our problems. Like I've told you, a lot of the uh, a lot of the a lot of the problems that we are experiencing right now are problems that we need to put energy in by ourselves. We cannot wait for the government to come through for us. The government is already handling so much, so it's time that we, the youth, stood up and did something to fight um, these issues that we are experiencing on our own. Last but not least. Um, uh, or rather lastly, <laughs> another solution I think uh, that would really, really help is if we had these young youth farmers who have succeeded in farming so far, just come and tell us how to venture into farming as a youth. Come and tell us the benefits of um, getting into agriculture as a youth. Come and give us the t uh, tricks of the trade, tips on how to just handle an entire piece of land or other farming in general as a youth that would be amazing just some guidance would be really really good that would be help more than you know it would push someone all the way to what they need to know to kickstart or rather venture into agriculture that is it from me on the matter of food insecurity. Again, the comment section is very much open. We are a very interactive platform. So do not shy away from just commenting down below what you think can be solutions to solving um, this issue on food security on top of what I've already mentioned. We would really, really like to hear out what you guys think on this situation. And then um, again, if you know anyone who can um, come on the show and just help us understand how to get access to the youth fund, or if you know a young farmer who's really, really doing good in the agriculture sector, you can reach us on our email address. That's info at mwakenyavoice.co.ke. Share this video with them so that they know that someone is actually willing to listen to them and learn from them. Because I know there's a lot of people who are interested in knowing how to do some of these things and uh, just don't know where to start from. So it would be really, really nice if we could have people come on and just share their wisdom with them, share their wisdom with the rest of the world so that we can hold each other's hands and know that we are not alone in this fight on what's affecting the youth. 
This is just one amongst the many problems that's affecting the youth in the country right now. So be stay tuned for more of these episodes. I definitely have a lot lined up for you guys. You do not want to miss out. Come, let's talk. Let's come and um, share our thoughts. If uh, you'd like to address something as well, or if you'd like me to address something, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's keep the comment section um, sane. Let's be very respectful with what we put out there. I'd really appreciate it from you guys. Till the next video, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.